Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. And I'll explain why the set looks completely different today from everything else that you've ever seen uh, towards the end of the video. That said, today I'm here to talk about why I don't really consider myself a Republican anymore. And I can tell you that it's not the constituency, it's not the, the rank and file, the people are pretty much the same. It's not the values. Uh, fiscal conservatism, uh, limited government, personal responsibility, Second Amendment rights, First Amendment rights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those values haven't changed for me whatsoever. What has turned the term Republican into a pejorative for me are definitely the elected leaders. Today we have this on display, but what I equate it to is, have you ever been turkey hunting or seen any videos of turkey hunting? You basically have the, the hens milling around eating stuff, and then you have a, the same size bird basically shows up, but it's a male bird, and it basically walks in the room and puffs itself up real big and starts doing a funny dance, right? And then a couple of them show up and they all kind of do a funny dance together. But nobody is really willing to do anything to one another until one of them kind of steps out of line a little bit. They might get into a little fight. But what's really interesting is particularly if you've ever been bow turkey hunting and the hunter takes a shot and takes out one of the one of the male turkeys, the other male turkeys will be like, whoa, what happened? And then once they kind of see that the dust is cleared a little bit, they basically go into a bukkake circle jerk and start pecking the heck out of the guy when he's down. That's what I see when I look at what's going on in the House of Representatives right now. So we have this House Joint Resolution 44, which is supposed to be working its way up to a floor vote sometime today. I think that Jared's going to be doing a a live stream. God bless that man's soul. Thank you, sir, for all the content that you're about to generate for the internet, but I don't know how you sit through that crap. Anyway, that's supposed to happen sometime tonight. Don't know when, but in the meantime, while the Republicans were dancing around each other trying to play hide the sausages with their insider trading dollars, the House minority, the Democrats, have advanced a few uh, discharge petitions, which it's a technical term used for a procedural vote that it basically allows them to bring votes to the floor without the consent of the Speaker of the House. Uh, it, again, that's all you really need to know about it. And they are some doozies. We're talking assault weapons bans, magazine bans, uh, unconstitutional, intrusive, enhanced background checks. You know, all the things that are wildly unpopular with the majority of people out there. But... I actually think that the lizard people here might have a winning play over the turkeys because how many times have we seen certain individuals break from the principled ideals that you and I care about such to the point where their constituents had to censure them. I almost guarantee that the lizard people are going to pick off a turkey or two. That is, of course, unless you guys blow up those phones and let them know that you are paying very close attention to what it is that they are doing. You will not tolerate any kind of support of any kind of gun control of any kind. You don't have to get into a tirade over it. You just need to let them know that your decision, the next time you choose or do not choose to support them at the polls, will hinge very strongly on what it is they, they do pertaining to this issue. This is particularly true if you live in a region where you are represented by a political waif. Because I guarantee you, particularly now that the Democrats see themselves losing big on issues like gun control, uh, they are in serious fear and serious jeopardy of this running the wrong way, and they will take any advantage that they can and of any situation that they can create to sow division and turn one of those feckless, spineless individuals or two or three or as many as they can get into proverbial pivot men. So, please, really short message here today. Be on top of your people and make sure that uh, this one goes the right way. Oh, yeah, so I said something about uh, rearranging the office at the beginning of the video. Uh, I have decided that sometimes it is less than advantageous to do a video just kind of standing there taking notes on my phone and then working through a video concept like that. So I've set myself up to do kind of note heavy content like uh, court case reads and things like that, those hot takes in front of my machine. And I have rearranged the whole thing and all the cool stuff that was on the wall is now behind my computer screen. Haven't I got it over there yet? And I haven't set up the backdrop yet. So... 
hopefully that will be coming soon. Please bear with me. And thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you on another video here at the VSO Gun Channel. Provided the lizard people don't come get me. <laughs>